Hello everyone. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe to this channel. George Washington, frequently called the father of his nation, is perhaps one of the most famous figures in American history. His initiative during the Revolutionary War and his role as the first president of the United States helped shape the country's character and laid the foundation for its future. This paper explores the life, accomplishments, and enduring legacy of George Washington. Early life and background, George Washington was born on February 22, 1732, in Westmoreland County, Virginia. He was the son of Augustine and Mary Ball Washington, and the eldest of six children. Washington's family was part of the Virginia Gentry, a social class of wealthy plantation owners. However, his early life was not without challenges. His father died when George was only 11 years old, and his half-brother Lawrence Washington became a significant influence in his life. Despite limited formal education, Washington was an eager learner. He studied mathematics, surveying, and geography, skills that would serve him well in his future endeavors. At the age of 17, Washington began working as a surveyor, a profession that took him into the Virginia wilderness and provided him with a deep understanding of the land. Military career and the French and Indian War Washington's military career began during the French and Indian War, 1754-1763, a conflict between Britain and France over territory in North America. In 1754, he was appointed a lieutenant colonel in the Virginia militia and tasked with leading an expedition to the Ohio Valley. During this mission, Washington gained valuable military experience, although it ended in defeat at Fort Necessity. Washington's reputation grew during the war, and he was eventually appointed commander of the Virginia Regiment. He played a crucial role in defending the Virginia frontier and earned a reputation for his leadership and bravery. Despite the challenges he faced, including lack of resources and inexperienced soldiers, Washington emerged from the war as a respected military leader. The path to revolution, after the French and Indian War, Washington returned to Virginia and married Martha Custis, a wealthy widow, in 1759. The marriage significantly increased his social standing and wealth, allowing him to focus on managing his plantation at Mount Vernon and pursuing political interests. Washington became increasingly involved in colonial politics and was elected to the Virginia House of Burgesses in 1758. As tensions between the American colonies and Britain escalated, Washington aligned with the growing movement for colonial rights. He was a vocal critic of British policies, including the Stamp Act and the Townsend Acts, which imposed taxes on the colonies without their consent. The turning point came with the Intolerable Acts of 1774, a series of punitive measures imposed by Britain in response to the Boston Tea Party. In response, the colonies convened the First Continental Congress, where Washington was chosen as a delegate from Virginia. His leadership and commitment to the colonial cause quickly made him a prominent figure in the fight for independence. Commander of the Continental Army, in 1775, the Second Continental Congress appointed George Washington as the Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army, a position he accepted with humility and a deep sense of duty. Leading a ragtag group of militias against the world's most powerful military was a daunting task, but Washington's leadership qualities shone through. Washington faced numerous challenges during the Revolutionary War, including shortages of supplies, poorly trained troops, and internal dissent. Despite these obstacles, he managed to hold the army together and achieved several significant victories. The surprise attack on Trenton after crossing the Delaware River in December 1776 and the subsequent victory at Princeton were pivotal moments that boosted the morale of the Continental Army and rallied the revolutionary cause. Washington's strategy of avoiding large-scale battles with the British and focusing on a war of attrition eventually paid off. The turning point came in 1781 when French forces joined the American cause, leading to the decisive victory at the Battle of Yorktown. The surrender of British General Cornwallis effectively ended the war and secured American independence. The first president of the United States, following the end of the Revolutionary War, Washington resigned his military commission and returned to private life at Mount Vernon. 
However, it soon became clear that the young nation faced significant challenges, including political instability and economic difficulties. Washington's leadership was once again called upon, and he was unanimously elected as the first president of the United States in 1789. Washington's presidency set numerous precedents that continue to shape the office today. He established the first presidential cabinet, consisting of key advisors like Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton. His leadership style emphasized consensus building and balancing diverse viewpoints, which stabilized the new government. One of Washington's most significant achievements was the implementation of the financial policies proposed by Alexander Hamilton, which laid the foundation for the country's economic development. The establishment of a national bank, the assumption of state debts, and the introduction of tariffs were crucial steps in securing the nation's financial stability. Washington also navigated the young nation through foreign policy challenges. He issued the Proclamation of Neutrality in 1793, declaring the United States' position of non-involvement in European conflicts. This decision set a precedent for American foreign policy and emphasized the importance of focusing on domestic development. The Farewell Address and Legacy, in 1796, Washington announced his decision to step down after two terms as president, setting a significant precedent for the peaceful transition of power. His farewell address, published in newspapers across the country, offered advice and warnings for the nation's future. Washington emphasized the importance of national unity, cautioned against the divisive nature of political parties, and advised against entangling alliances with foreign nations. Washington's farewell address remains one of the most important documents in American history, providing guidance and wisdom that continue to resonate with leaders today. George Washington's legacy is immeasurable. He is remembered not only for his military and political achievements, but also for his character and leadership. His dedication to the principles of democracy, his commitment to the nation's founding ideals, and his ability to navigate the challenges of a new republic have left an indelible mark on the United States. Washington's life and legacy are honored in numerous ways. The nation's capital, Washington, D.C., is named in his honor, as are countless schools, monuments, and public buildings. His image adorns the dollar bill and the quarter, serving as a constant reminder of his contributions to the nation. George Washington's life was a testament to the power of leadership, integrity, and dedication to one's country. From his early days as a surveyor to his role as a military leader and the first president of the United States, Washington's contributions to the nation's founding and development are unmatched. His legacy continues to inspire future generations of leaders and citizens, reminding us of the values upon which the United States was built. Thank you for watching.